Hey everyone, thanks for joining in the view of yet another in my lecture series, Fish Keeping. Today's topic is Fish Do Have Sense. It is my humblest opinion, that fish are unique creatures, they are designed to manage themselves in the wild. They are designed with scales or a thick skin, which is used as an armor against both predator and against the elements, heat and cold. They can see in the dark. They are sensitive to sound, they have teeth in the back of the throat, and I could go on and on. Many fish keepers are of the opinion that fish has little or no sense. I think that's an incorrect assumption. For example, my fish stock would swim to the top of the pond whenever they see the light heading to their pond. They have no eyelids so their eyes are always open yet, they can sense danger even in their sleep. They are so designed that half of their brain sleeps while the other half help to keep the fish balance in the water. Have you ever wondered how a fish can consume another fish, live, yet it just does not throw up or choke? It calculates with its eyes whether or not the set prey can fit into the mouth. A fish mouth cannot chew like humans. It's equipped with teeth set to tear and allow quick swallowing of food. Unlike other pets you may have, lizards, cats, dog to name a few, a fish just does not throw up. Everything entering the fish mouth will either go into their stomach or redirected into the water via through their gill. A fish is not dumb. It can remember situations, but it tends to be too trusting as a baby. Since a fish may not see colors as we do chances are this may have a residual effect of their reasoning. A fish is not socialized to behave the way they do. A fish behavior based on science and research, is inherent. It is genetically programmed to behave the way they do. Example, cichlids take care of their young up to a particular size. Live bearers consume their young after the birth process and the young swims in front of it. After holding eggs, then fries in the mouth for up to 48 days, after releasing fries, the female main gano will attempt to consume fries. Have you ever observed a fish hunting for food? If you have never done so, I encourage you to try that on for size. Many fish which hunt for their meal are strategic. They have their own developed mechanisms, in which they use to catch their meal. This strategy is not learning rather it is considered nature. Many persons may disagree and suggest that fish are socialized to act the way they do. Question, who does the socializing since most times fish swims with its peers and not necessarily parents? Parents usually fight young fish to leave the nest and become independent. Share your opinion on this school of thought, below in the commentary box. Fish genetical makeup programs it ensure overpopulation of its species does not occur. Imagine if a koi fish did not consume some of its own egg, whoa, you would have some koi in the fish market, a koi fish may lay up to 200,000 eggs at one go. The goldfish depending on its size may lay up to 500 plus eggs. An egg scatterer may release up to 300 plus eggs. The consumption of eggs by parents to me, aid in the management of fish stock in the wild. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. A very important point to think about is that, in the wild the ocean and the rivers are large and open. These places are not as restricted as our small spaces we enclose them in, which we call aquariums. Regards, Relig, remember to share and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Fishkeeping Jamaica.